Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Bison Video Blog. We wrap up week two of our 15 to watch in 2015 series, along with Jeff Kolpak. I'm Dom Izzo. Number six seems like a guy we've talked about for like 18 years, and he comes back for a sixth season of eligibility. We mentioned yesterday Joe Haig is a chance for one for the thumb. So does this guy, and he actually played in 2011, that first national championship season. It was like the biggest, the, uh, the belated Christmas present for Chris Kleiman and the staff the day after NDSU beats Illinois State. Zach Vra announced he was coming back for his sixth season. And that was a question I think that people were wondering for the last two we or three about, months. Well, we wanted about right after, right when the 2014 season started. Is he going to come back? Yeah, because he is eligible. He had those medical hardship because of the collarbone issues that he had the first two years of his career. Those collarbone issues obviously long are gone. long yeah. gone. They, they medically took care of it with uh, some plates and, and that's never been an issue his last three years. What does he bring to the table? Well, he brings experience for one thing. He's 6'2", he brings size. 6'2", 203 is a big receiver. Yep. He's back again, like you said, he's a first team all Missouri Valley pick in 2013. Had a drop off last he year. He did have a drop off, he had, he had, but he has his career numbers. Uh, the question is, okay, why come back? And I'll ask you that. Why come back? A, I think because he wasn't healthy last year. And right. B, I think he did not have the season that he was expecting, nor us in the public, for 2014 with him teaming up with Carson Wentz. The ability of the big ball with Wentz and Vra being a big play receiver, we just thought that that was going to be like peanut butter and jelly, and it was not the case last season. I think right. those are the two big factors why he said. And I think, obviously, he thinks – they got a great chance to win it all again in 2015. I'll give you two other reasons, too, why I think he came back. Number one is I think the experience Kevin Vodolin had coming right, back for point. his sixth yep. six season. Kevin Vodolin, again, was a medical hardship grandpa, guy. Grandpa, they called him. They yep. called him grandpa. <laughs> and we were wondering, okay, are you going to come back or not? What, what's your story? And when he announced he's coming back and then the experience he had, mm -hmm. you know, he wasn't – I don't think he felt so old. I think he still felt part of the team. That, I think, is the worry of some of these guys because a lot of these classmates that come in, a they're lot no, of the classmates, they're, long gone. they're yeah. gone, and that leaves you. But then, you know, I, I think this team dynamic is more uh, accommodating to different classes mm -hmm. meshing together. You know, it wasn't maybe always the case in the 90s and the 80s with NDSU. It was always class, class, class. Now I think that's a little more distributed mm -hmm. where it's a little more, uh, you know, it's okay to be friends with a sophomore if you're a senior. Yeah. It's okay. Now, mm -hmm. I know he's a he's a team first guy, but he has a chance to go down as NDSU's all time leading receiver in almost every category: touchdown receptions, yep. receptions, yards. I know that's not big for him, but even a solid to good season will net him all those records this right, year. Right, and no doubt he will uh, go down I think as so, yeah. an all time receiver. And here's another reason why I think it's good for if you have any pro aspirations at all. The last year's numbers is, is not going to do it, are not going to nope. do it. So if you want to have a chance, I think you got to come back for your final year and say, okay, here are the numbers I can put up. Uh, if you're not a draft pick eligible or a draft pickable player, at least you're going to get a free, free agent, agent shot. Route. You mm -hmm. definitely will get a free agent shot. I looked on most of the Missouri Valley preseason ballots. He's not on there. How much is that? inspiration for a guy that, as we mentioned, all first-team Valley player. He's honorable mention last season, but this is a guy who had 15 touchdowns in 2013. Oh, I don't think you take the field wanting to prove us wrong or the media members wrong. I don't think Maybe that's... Maybe you wrong. Yeah. No, it's easy to <laughs> or do. Or me wrong. It's easy to do. <laughs> I, I just don't think that should be your main motivation, nor is it in many, many cases. Yeah. I don't I don't think uh, when they get up on game day, they're going to go... Oh, I'm going to stick it to those voters because they <laughs> left me off the first team ballot. I don't think that's a big deal. Now, he was hurt a couple times last year. He had the turned angle against Western Illinois, then the hamstring injury in the playoffs against South Dakota State. So what does he need to do outside of staying on the field to be better in 2015? Just play. Just play your game. I think, you know, sometimes the odds of injuries go down if you had a few. Yeah. Uh, are you injury prone or is it bad luck? Well, I, I think those shoulder issues – were the product of just the way you're built, right? We, we saw when he was a healthy player in 2013, we saw what happened. You saw him on ESPN. Yeah. How many times did you see him right. on ESPN on the highlights? We saw when, when he's healthy, he's an unstoppable wide receiver in the Missouri Valley. He's Football so Conference. good at running his routes. Yeah. He's, he's not going to blind you with his speed. I think his speed is deceptive. He's gotten faster, he told us yeah, last year. Yeah, he's gotten faster, yeah. but he's so good at routes. He's such 
such a good feel for creating separation. And his high school coach told us six years ago when he was recruited <laughs> that he can really adjust to the ball yep. in the air. He's got great body control. No longer the only Rosemount kid on the team, too. Dimitri Williams, a high, highly touted wide receiver, true freshman, also from Rosemount, now part of the Bison class of 2015. There you have it, folks. The first two weeks are down. All we have are five left. And these are must be the pretty... Good players if they're still left on the table. Maybe you should change about. clothes more often, too. I should too. probably do that. I'm just glad you're wearing pants this week. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Two weeks down for our 15 to watch in 2015 series.